Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are you guys doing? Well, today is Tuesday, and yesterday I did go fishing. I went down to the end of 2nd Street in Corvallis, where the Mary's River meets uh, Willamette. And I checked it out yesterday, and it was uh, great conditions. It wasn't as bad as last time I was there, so... Um, this video is not focusing on fishing. I'm just going to throw a couple of fish that I caught in there today. I'm going to focus on uh, letting you guys know our next travel plans, where we're going, and what we're doing. So if you guys are in the neighborhood of where we're going to next, hit me up. Let me know a fishing spot or something you want me to try out. Uh, say what's up. Um, whatever so stay tuned to the end i'm gonna let you guys know those travel plans that are uh, coming up this uh, next weekend uh stay tuned enjoy the show but this is the trail it's actually the second trail from the blue house you got one trail there this second trail right here looks nice and clear it's a little muddy I'm gonna have to put my boots on it's a little this water's kind of nice and steel right here not too much current it's a lot of mud Oh my goodness, it's so much more clear over here. Yes. Oh yes, this is going to make for easier fishing, guys. All right. Stay tuned. Let's see what we can do. Hey, all right, guys. We're here. Uh, I got my gear. We're here. I'm going to see what time it is real quick. It is 12.06 in the afternoon. I am uh, at the river off of 2nd Street in Corvallis, right where Willamette and Mary's meet. I'm going to try and kind of fish this area with the spinner right now, see what kind of fish we can get. that up oh darn it will this be a lesson on how to get your backlashes out I should do that shouldn't I it's real easy if you can grab a hold of it all you gotta do is get rid of these loops just pull them get rid of the loops pull it out boom I can't believe I did that already. Just started. Hope my lure don't get snagged. Nope, came right off the bottom. All right, let's try this again. That's better. I'm going to move over here real quick. I got crawlers. I want to try to fish for some bait and um, maybe some trout, catch some natural trout, not no stock trout. That would be nice. Um, and then if I catch some bait, like, uh, you know, sucker or pike minnow, I'll use it for bait and see what we can get I might come over here and fish forget that current Thank you. 
just missed one. Just missed a bass. Ooh. All right, guys. That was a largemouth. Actually have a stupid fish on here. It feels like a little sucker. And I didn't even know it. Nope. Look at that. Fishing bait. Is that the prettiest fishing bait you ever seen? He just sat there. He swallowed it and just sat there. And I'm like, you know what? Let me uh, check my line. Yeah, he swallowed that sucker. <clears throat> I'll let them flop around for a minute and get my tweezers. Fish on. Another. You ever have those times where you just cast your pole in and drag it and set it right where you want it set it up and you just can't sit down and watch your pole you got to stand there because you have a feeling something's going to hit it right then and there i want to sit down i just can't The excitement's real, guys. Just like Richard Gene, the fishing machine, says, fishing is a sport second to none. I love that guy, dude. You guys ever uh, see his channel? If not, check him out. That guy is a master angler. That guy can catch fish. He studied them for a very long time. And he has mastered, especially crappie. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it myself, guys, but there are rainbow trout right here on this edge. I'm not sure how many, but I just hooked onto one. but I lost them. So, I was hoping it was bluegills, but it turned out to be a decent trout. There it goes again. Look at that, guys. Nice. Look at that. Got some damage right there. Nice fish though.
Hey guys, I hope you uh, really enjoyed that uh, short fishing trip that I had. Um, now is for the news of what is to be coming up next. Well, this weekend on uh, the 13th or the 14th, I'm not sure, depending on how my wife feels, we will be leaving Lebanon and uh, heading uh, towards uh, Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we'll be spending a few weeks there to uh, spend time with family and for the holidays, for uh, Thanksgiving at least. So while I am there, I'll be camping with my family and doing a little bit of fishing. So we'll do some of that in Arizona. Stay tuned for that. Um, after Thanksgiving, we'll be heading back to Oregon. We signed another contract uh, to extend our stay here in Oregon, except we will be in Bend, so we'll be just beyond sisters. Uh, we'll be in the mountains uh, doing playing in the snow. So stay tuned for that. Um, we do a lot of uh, creek and river fishing out there. Um, you have the Deschutes River. Uh, let me know uh, what you guys know about that in that area. Um, if any of you live in that area and want to meet up with me and do some fishing, let me know. Hit me up on uh, Messenger. Uh, or, or my email. Uh, if you haven't uh, gone to my Facebook page on Morales Outdoors, do that as well. I got some pictures and videos there. Um, I'm also on Instagram. So uh, we will be doing Bend, Oregon. I will be purchasing uh, a hunting license as well, doing some possibly small game. I'm not sure uh, what uh, the state allows yet, so I'm still doing research on that. But uh, being that I we are staying a little bit longer, I will be purchasing a hunting license and uh, and doing that as well. So stay tuned. I hope you guys have been enjoying the channel so far. If you guys have any suggestions, please, please, please message me. I love you guys, man. Um, it's been great. You guys have been great to me, and uh, I just hope I keep putting content out there that you guys enjoy. See you soon. And deuces.